Okay, well this uh, diagnosis has been a bit interesting, but uh, I did figure it out. Uh, it's kind of interesting how I figured it out. Though I do have uh, one wire that's burnt, I thought I was dealing with some uniwire. What I elected to do was to figure out which wire is actually cutting my ignition circuit off. And I did figure it out. Let me show you how I figured this one out. Okay, so I've simulated what happens when our ground is hooked up. So as you can see right here, I have my test circuit in. This is simulating um, basically what happens when you touch ground. Um, this is the cam circuit. So pretty much um, it interfaces with the crank circuit. Um, they're intertwined with each other in a short. And I'm going to show you in the schematic now which circuit we're actually testing. A simple continuity test. And we'll do this one again so you can see it a little better. So again, every time you hear it beep, my engine will stall. And that's what was happening every time that burnt piece of wire was hitting the heat shield. Stall. 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 Undo it. Engine runs. Simulate your bump. And that's about what it felt like, huh? Yep. Alright, so instead of doing lot of surgery I think we're gonna do on this one we're gonna go ahead and repair the one wire we're gonna put it back together we're gonna to test it again I can't see cutting up an entire harness for one wire um, there's over 60 wires I counted in this harness so pretty much it's one of those things where I don't want to do damage that isn't there I want to fix the problem and I want to do it once right the first time and do it correctly and that's the point here this didn't take a computer diagnose but it did take a simple digital voltmeter like this one I have for many years but the continuity tester is the big one anyway let's uh, let's get down to the repair we're gonna go ahead and cut the bad wire out we've got a cheater piece we're gonna put in place of we're gonna solder that in put this thing back together and then again test and run and uh, see if we've solved it no I actually want you to cut about an inch away from the burn yeah well, I want you to be like over here because we want to cut away from the burn Okay, so what I'm showing you is this burnt piece of wire that was hitting the heat shield and shorting the crank sensors out. The thing is, it was working, but it was touching ground, shorting it out. One wire shut an engine off. It's amazing with these EFI motors. Okay, so this is the white wire with the black stripe when you look in your uh, schematic. Before you put your, uh, your solder and your last connection, put your heat shrink on first. Otherwise, you will not get it on afterward. Now, what I'm trying to do here is run this heat shrink tubing about as far as I can get it because the heat of soldering will actually make these shrink and then it'll make it useless. Now, the reason why I'm putting this in as opposed to just taking the two pieces is more or less the fact of the strain and stress relief. Okay, so as you can see, oh, that looks good, Kev. That was a good, good one. Yeah, it's uh, sucked through the wire. Awesome. Oh, that was a beautiful. That's good. It's got good penetration. That'll last a lifetime. All right, very good. And also the engine heat, too, will seal that up, so. All right. We're going to go ahead and test this connection real quick before we seal it up, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay, so this is how we're going to test it. I have my uh, sewing needle in for the white and black wire, or white on black. Here on the ignition module, you will notice right there where the arrow is pointing to now that is our white on black wire and now I'm going to do a continuity test so when I touch this 
That means we have good continuity. We should have no problem with a crank signal now. And here I'll do the same test. I'm going to have my son hold the tester right there and I'm going to touch ground and see if we have noise. If we have noise or you hear a beep, that means we have a ground that's shorting out to block. And we should not have a beep when I do go to do this. Before we did, when it hit the heat shield, now we don't. So we have made sure and verified that, yeah, this was definitely our problem. One wire killed this motor. Intermittent stalling caused by a single wire. Yeah, you had to take the alternator out and the power steering pump out, and I'm going to have to do a little loom repair here, but, you know, for not having to go to the auto parts store and buy a part, I'm pretty confident I found the problem, so... I may be in this loom again, but for now, we're going to run on this and see what we got.